are officially in the Pisgah National Forest. It's pronounced like it's spelled P-I-Z-G-A, Pisgah. Pisgah. But I always pronounce it like it's P-I-S-C-A, Pisgah, or P-I-C-K-A. time to come visit out here. Popular well, like busy time. Yeah. Well, this weekend, the first weekend that I've seen it's been busy since about November. Um, and that's just locals or people who come here just for the weekend. Um, it'll start getting busier when it warms up, but the busiest season here is obviously summer, but like Early summer, May, there's picking up. And then Memorial Day to Labor Day, it's a zoo. Lots and lots of people. And there's probably have a lot of, you know, kids aren't in school in the summer. They have a lot of kids come up here. And along this river through here, a lot of people will tube it, get the inner tube, and they look down the river. There's a trail on the other side that goes up, drops off the 
snow melt, so the water level's higher. So a lot of people kayak here. And then this area is, in general, a lot of kayakers come. If you go to different rivers and different streams and stuff, that, I mean, it's swollen, you get into play. But this one has uh, had it, quite a few people playing it. Will the river go up very much? Yeah. That, I mean, well, I'll tell you about it in a little bit. But, so this area here is the trailhead that goes up to Looking Glass Rock. I'd be surprised if this afternoon, when we, or not this afternoon, when we come back by here, that there won't be twice as many cars right there right now. By this afternoon, there'll be cars parked through here. Wow. And it's a really easy trail. It's a 2.2 mile hike. goes uphill. You go through and you get to the, the top. You come out of the forest and there's this big rock. And you're on top of the rock. It's this big open view. The rock was at one time a pluton, which is inside of a volcano. As the magma came up inside it, got capped off. It didn't blow up and go anywhere. So then over time, it cooled. And so that, that slow process of cooling formed a really, really dense rock, which is granite. We have a lot around here. And, um, the volcano eroded off and what was left is that dense rock. And it's called looking glass rock. We call it looking glass rock in the winter when it freezes. You see in the, the reflection on it, it's very much more like a mirror. So if you go back late in the 1800s and stuff, that's when mirrors referred to looking glasses. So that's why it called looking glass rock. Uh, there's another rock formation right over here you'll see in a second. It's the same thing, same form, same formation. The volcano, Pluton, on the lookout, the same rock, but it's a much smaller, it's probably a third of the size of Looking Glass Rock. And it is, it's called John's Rock, it's right over here. And you can see the striations coming down it. That's where the water's seeping out from above and coming down. It sort of looks striped like a zebra. somewhere in South Texas you go a straight line across yeah. flat land. I used to live in Josh Tree, California and I'd drive back and forth across the state. I've probably been back and forth like 12 times and um, every time I drive I try to take a different route but most of the time I was going through Texas. I remember the first time I was going through, wow, I'm going to Texas. And did later, nothing. I'm like, wow, I'm still in Texas. And it was the exact same thing. I was like, wow. This is the big nothing. Yes. Yeah. Across open land. Several times I'd go through there in the winter and it was just like, you're talking about the wind? Yeah, I was like, Whoa. There's nothing to block it, man. Zero. It's, it's really weird. Also, our freezing tends to be, uh, we float right around the freezing point and it becomes very dangerous because we tend to form lots of ice because it'll just get warm enough in the day to melt anything 
and then overnight it'll freeze that and we'll just get ice everywhere. Yeah. Not to mention our infrastructure. We don't have anything for really taking care of ice or snow or anything. So we we essentially shut down when there's this that level of cold. And when there several years ago we had a bunch of I think it was either rain and it froze and yeah a bunch of everything went down. And then the power went out because our infrastructure wasn't prepared for making enough power. Yeah. Because Texas thought it was a good idea to have an independent infrastructure. Or an in independent power grid. Yeah, that's just winter, not to mention the hurricanes could do that in our area. Yeah, and we don't do well with those either. <laughs> Isn't that funny? But uh, I, I grew up in Louisiana, so I suffered oh, yeah. through I suffered through plenty of hurricanes, water coming in the house, and then uh, we lost our house in Katrina. So, wow. yeah, there's, there's nothing really stops that from happening. Just not live there. Yeah, I mean. It's <laughs> That gal back there had a towel. Uh, make sure she cut it off on her shoulders, but make sure she's gonna go swimming. Mm. Is all gravel here on? Yeah. And technically, once we turned off the of main road at that Y, that was the Forest Service Road. Here and now, it just goes gravel. We'll be on this one, and we'll come back out. A couple waterfalls here, and we'll get out and we'll get on another one that goes up that direction. This used to be a fairly fairly rough road. Okay, where it goes up here, we're just kind of split. We're going to park there and we'll walk. They have two blockades across the road. That they, I mean, it's always been blocked. But they started to do some work on one of the bridges down here. So when they did that, they started having heavier trucks come through here. So they kind of re-plowed re the road a little bit and there's a little more gravel down, so it's a lot easier now. It's crazy, you can see into the water. Oh yeah, really, really clear. Down in Louisiana, we're at the bottom of the Mississippi River. Yeah. There's no seeing. First waterfall we'll go to is about a half mile high, and it's just along this Forest Service Road. So it's pretty mellow, it's not too steep or crazy or anything like that. Anyway. Yeah, they still got a little frost on them. Mm -hmm. so what they do is they, they get cold, they droop down like this. And it was only in the 30s, so it's not that cold here. If it gets in the 20s, they curl up like that, and they <laughs> hang down. They look like a bunch of hanging cigars. And then mm. these are in the sunlight, so they're gonna start to oh, relax. And they mm. open up, and they're like, oh. And the trees that are, the ones that aren't in the sunlight, they'll still be curled up, frozen. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> um, but that's called a rose bay rhododendron. And um, it has sort of a creamish white flower. They bloom in May through the first part, or into May, into June. And um, they're a really pretty flower. They grow about 10 to 15 feet tall. They grow like 600 feet to 4,200 feet elevation. And then if you go higher elevations, there's another um, rhododendron, but it's fairly similar. It looks very similar, but shorter leaves, not as wide, taller, or shorter plant. And they bloom 
in April, and the flower is exactly the same except for the color. The color is really vibrant, like fuchsia. Mm -hmm. It's a really, really pretty flower. I believe we've had some of those when I was younger. You may have. Mm. Just remember some fuchsia plants we had. And uh, there, but the, the that's called a Catawba rhododendron, and they only grow like higher elevations. Um, but it's really interesting because at higher elevations, they bloom before these do. And when you're up there, it's just like this wall of fuchsia, fuchsia. everywhere. It's really, really pretty. And then down here, these are biennial, uh, bi yeah, biennial flowers. Some year they may only have like three or four flowers. And the next year they'll have like 45. Tons of flowers. So you get, it's just a wall of white flowers or cream flowers. So this is the Davidson, or Davidson River. This is um, a popular swim, swim hole. Cause it's got a little easy access. You can go down, get down there. So sort of that beachy sand area through there. And the water's going down, but generally during the summer, the water exists through there and it comes down. Um, you see this big rock, the bedrock goes down there and meets that sand yeah. area like there. It's a little deeper there. Right now it's probably about belly to chest deep, but it's generally about waist deep. But it's nice because when the sun's a little higher up in the summer, this is short in the sun now, but it's all in the sun about 9, 30, 10 till like four in the afternoon. So you get in the water, get back out and sit in the sun to keep warm. This water is cold. In the summer, it might heat up to 57 degrees, 55, 56, 57. Right now it's in the low 50s, sure. but just cause it's generally um, all running water, it's either coming from a spring or from runoff. So the water's really cold. So any of the waterfalls we get to, feel free to put your hands in them to feel it. It'll be warmer than the air right now, but it's still gonna be cold. There's a cool little camp spot right there. It's totally breaking the rules because it's definitely within that about <laughs> thousand feet of the road. But you often see people camp there. In the summer there was uh, several times people were camped there, but one guy came out, had several of those rocks, built them up, had a little grill on the rocks, nice. had a little chair, was sitting in a chair, had his beer and feet in the water, just grilling out. But yeah, that's, you often see people camp there, even though they're not supposed to, but sure. This is a pretty waterfall. It's about 150 to 155 feet. It has three names, which is really interesting. The first, probably the first known name is Tom Spr or excuse me, Tom Falls. Because this water originates from a source called Tom Springs. So a lot of local folks or people who've been here for several generations refer to it as Tom Fall. And then, I'm not sure who gave it this name, but some people started referring to it as Davidson Ridge Falls because it's close enough to be considered a part of the Davidson Ridge, but it's not really the Davidson Ridge. So a lot of people started calling it Davidson Falls. Or, excuse me, Daniel Falls. Not Davidson, Daniel Falls. And then, it's also known as Jackson Falls because of a gentleman by the name of Ray Jackson who worked for the Forest Service who reportedly found this waterfall. Now that was in the 40s. And I don't think I think it was already discovered and everybody knew about it before the 40s were But here when you look at it, there's at the top, there's like sort of a small wall of water coming down. Normally it's just two streams, one on the left and one on the right comes down and hits that and starts splitting and keeps working its way down. And then you look over there. That, that, the little one? Coming, yeah, the little one's coming like out of nowhere. I'm not sure if that's coming from further up or if it's coming from the spring. But that's about when it comes down and generates the one you see in the bottom part of the far right wall. Now about a week ago, the, the whole waterfall was all water. There's tons of water coming down. And it's, because it's going to be dry for the next well, we'll just get a little rain later. It's coming later, but it's not very hot. But it will, it'll generally be just a little bit of water coming down. 
not, not, not quite as much as it is now. I had a, I had a GoPro for several years, and then I uh, used to do some trips to Italy. Yeah, and it either. Cause I had my stuff on a backpack sitting at a, at a desk or at a desk cause we're eating breakfast. So, and I noticed when I left, it wasn't there. So I'm not sure. I, I'm like, I can't really accuse him by taking it, but who knows? So I lost it. And then I, um, about a year or two later, I was talking with somebody. And they said, you should get a GoPro. I go, oh, yeah. And I start telling them story and they go, oh, I got a friend who knows blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Then they think of it. And then a little while later, I get a call from this guy. He's like, hey, I'm such a good friend. I have a GoPro for money. I'll give you $100. She said they ordered one, and they sent them two. Nice. And she tried to send it back to him. Like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. And it's like, oh, so I bought one for 100 bucks. Well, I got two of the two of the Hero 3 Blacks, mm -hmm. and those were incredible, and they've never died. I've had them for, I think, a decade now. But they only recorded in 1080, for, uh, 1080 60, and... Now that everything's moving to 4K, I moved over to get the uh, two Hero 8 Blacks. And the funny thing is, one of them died a year after I got the damn thing. Oh. And by die, I mean it lost audio. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. Now I can record video and that's it? Yeah. And then this one, I mean, this is my, uh, hopefully it doesn't die one. Okay, amor. Adelante. Okay. Un fogatita. Podemos acampar aquí, se puede acampar. Él dice está más que mil pies afuera de de la la calle. Tienes que estar mil pies lejos de la calle. Okay, tú primero. Okay. Cuida. In, or if you don't want to jump in, go down over there, go around, and come down, and get in the water. And probably maybe about a month ago, that branch right there just broke off. It was a log about that big around, and it came out right in here. So I just get people to sit on it, get their photograph taken. And then it broke off. So it's going more down the street. And now, uh, you come here in the summertime, the, people, the kids, the Greek camps that come here, they jump in the water swim. We go up there, climb up on that rock, get in that slide down. So it's all smooth rock. Yeah. The same thing is, they'll go up there and I, I wouldn't do this and hurt my butt. They'll go down the 
Bam, bam. Take off that ramp in the water. Tu cuidado. Están protegidos de agua, está bien. Hey, I got the waterproofs, man. Pues intenté, pero estoy con la cámara. Sí. Where's this we're headed now? So this is this is Forest Road 475B. That's 475. This is 475B. This just goes out, goes up, comes back around to 276, which is the concrete road we're on. And then this is a this is this is more of a typical Forest Service road. And this is up. Well, this is sort of kept up a little bit. There are other Forest Service roads that go off of it. And those are all closed to vehicle traffic. You can park there, go down and hike them, you can take your bike down and stuff like that. This is a, a fairly popular biking trail. People ride their bikes up and down there. As you see, as they're going up it, they're pedaling slow. You know, they're moving. But as they come down, they come flying around these corners. That's why I try to drive slow. And there's been several times, that, like right here, you come around the corner, it's wow, lip around on the bike as well as another car and then again you don't see that much happening until gets, the weather gets warmer and then in the summer it's, a, it's kind of chaos back here at times one time i had a the pontiac firebird it's about 10 30 about this time of the morning 10 30 morning come around around one of these corners like this and this firebird comes flying around the corner and i'm going slow enough i just ditch it over and stop. And then the pastor goes, oh my god! Ducks down. The lady driving goes, Ugh! And slams on her brakes and just kind of stops and slides in front of right here. And they stop and they look up and she looks at me and her eyes was wide. And the gal in the passenger seat gets up, laughing, grabs her beer, takes a drink of the beer, sits it down. The other gal grabs her beer, drinks it, starts backing up, sorry, sorry! I'm like, all right, just go slow, go slow, go slow. And they take on, continue on. Then it was like another half hour later, talking with the group, and you hear this car coming. And I'm like, well, let's just wait. Let's wait here, hang out. Sure enough, they come by and they meow, flying. They're going back the other direction. So they're having a little drink and driving and training, I guess. In a firebird. In a firebird. No less. Out here, yeah. There's a, a, there's like a, several biking groups. There's one, so a bikers club that they, they believe that no one should be on this road except for bikers and hikers. Sounds like bikers. Yeah, and one time I was coming down, it's up right up here, coming down. And every time I see a biker, I always do this. I stop, come to a complete stop, pull over, let them come by. So I did this, and I was looking at them, I was talking to the group, looking and just going back and forth, back and forth. And I noticed they're getting closer, closer and closer to the Jeep. And so the windows were open, it's summer. I leaned over to, uh, obviously they're gonna say something. So I lean over and the guy comes up by and he goes, ah! And I was just like, what the heck? And every, a couple of people in the Jeep scream, scared the hell out of them, they all start laughing. So I go home and I tell Clayton about it, I'm like, what is this about? And he laughs, he's like, yeah. There's a group of bikers that just don't believe that anybody should be on this except for bikers. I'm like, well, that's kind of strange. Whatever. Then within about a week, week and a half later, one of our other players is out with them. So 
uh, another group of people. See, the group of bikers come, they start doing the same thing. As they get closer to the Jeep, they go, oh, oh. I like their elephants because it's like a safari Jeep. So, yeah, there, you know, there's all kinds of people everywhere. Sounds like you're getting a little more of a trip for the Euro passengers. Yeah, and then it's fun. Passion is the best part because something like that will happen and they're all quiet like, what the hell? And then should we Welcome laugh? to Asheville. Yeah, what's going on here? <laughs> so this little site here, this is a group headwaters, three, four, five. That's a group, our group site. That's a campsite. We have to pay. You can see there's a fire ring down there. Mm -hmm. So those are ones that you have to pay for. You go to Reserve America and get them. But there's, it's interesting because the ones that have the fire ring are ones you have to pay for and they'll have just behind it will be another campsite it has a, a fire ring but it's made out of rocks. So you can camp there for free. Get to it, and then we're gonna go behind the waterfall and then we'll either come back down the same way or we'll get out and we'll come back around this direction. Okay. Adelante. Let's be in. See? Let's be in. Uy, que visto. Here, all this leaf pile up and it's uh, thick. The water was actually rushing through here, mm -hmm. and that wasn't that long ago. Get there and goes down that direction and go down the trail. Come on. Oh, hey. Go this way. Go. Right. Vamos yeah. para allá, amor. Okay. Adelante. Él te ayuda. Okay. Sí. Muy bien. That'll be free of the water. You got water for cheese on. También puedo? Sí. Los tíos dicen. Pero obviamente no en como media pie. It's gonna be that'll be really slick. Okay. No está no está seguro. Vamos a ir. Ah, okay. Izquierda. Okay. Okay. Ya puedo. Ah, estamos inmediatamente. Welcome to Slick Rock Fall. I really don't tell by the name of it because if you're coming up here, I don't you worry. But anything that's wet rock, it's really slick. Yeah. And so when it gets freezing temperature, the first time it freezes, everything that's wet is this layer of ice, and you really can't tell. It looks like a shiny rock. 
this serenade for you is get thicker and thicker and thicker. Mm -hmm. And it's just like this layer of ice of everything. Really pretty. Do you mind? You want. And you can camp here. You can see that people have built a fire over there. And you know, see there? There's some fires over there in here. It's a flat spot there, flat there. You could tent, you wouldn't need your or tent. You could camp, but you wouldn't need a tent. However, it is much cooler back here than it is out there. Right. So, yeah, tent's gonna add some more. And then if you, you look at the wall behind you, you can see some of our ancient pictographs we have. Yeah, 2020. Yeah. <laughs> now, this time last year, those initials, the MB or MJ, BJ, MWKB, and that Lou 2020 was the only thing here. So in the past year, all this stuff's come up. People wow. scratching and rock and stuff, which is a bummer. Another, uh, another bummer of it is that they're not artistic. The only no. thing that's artistic is this one here. Uh, it looks like it's a dog or deer. Right in there, if you look up close, it looks like there's something shooting into it. It's got blood dripping from it. <laughs> well, Elmo is here. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess they all must be short people because nothing's on the ceiling. Yeah. And then, speak of the ceiling, yeah, are you familiar with bouldering? Like rock climbing? But yeah. They're, but they're, they're, um, they're on the rocks and, you know, they don't need a rope. Yeah, I got a couple of friends. Yeah, this is a fairly popular spot back here. Gonna get new batteries. You see the shock mark? Yeah. <laughs> There's hands there, and the feet are down low. It goes there, comes out. That's a marking your feet. Hands are up there. Comes down here. And there, and feet, feet, and come out like this. And as it comes out here, it splits. Mm -hmm. So it goes to the right. Up like there, there, and there, and it goes out and just exits and goes up. Or it comes out here and they'll come out up here. And then right there, right there, right there. Oh man. Right there, right there, and they come out, out there. I've yeah. All the people I've, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people, but I've only seen one person actually, well, he didn't complete it, but he did it all the way out from here. And he got here and he's so plump, he fell and made on a crash pad. He didn't make it, but he made it out from here. Damn impressive. And then, all this is called Slick Rock. It could be called something to do with the bears because there's a lot of bear activity here. This year I haven't seen as much, but last year, that right over there goes down, it used to be a bear's den. And then in the spring, about March, it got warm enough to saw the tracks coming out. And then middle of March, it got really cold, like single digits was the high. The bear tracks went back in. And then, I've never saw the bear going in and out, but I saw the track. And then, right here on this tree, you can see where they mark the track. Mm -hmm. Right here. Mm -hmm. Marca de oso. <laughs> yeah. It's a bug. It's a bug that got in them killed them in the 50s, oh, yeah. 60s, and they just, boom. So you see them when you come around here, or you get up on the parkway, or you get these views. Um, it's a lot easier when there's a lot more green vegetation because they don't have any. And there's, a lot of them are fairly tall trees. So you can see them stand out because they don't have any leaves on them. Kind of looks like a medieval club. Or my, what my dad used to call a be good stick. <laughs> Okay. Mm, okay. Sí. No te manos. Okay. Now this is, if you did camp here, you got your one running water. You have a shower right here. Agua fresca y la ducha. The water is hit right there. It needs to be more right there on that flat rock. You get out and stand in it and shower and stuff. But I mean, that's all the pressure. 
<risa> Muy fresca. Ok, cuida tus pies, amor. Thanks for helping her. Yeah. Mira, amor. Pasemos abajo. ¿Qué miras? La plantita. Check it out the plant. Mm -hmm. hey, And then come over here for a second. Okay. See that. You don't have to come out of the rock. You can see all the mm -hmm. claw marks from the rock? Uh-huh. Because when the bears come up, because uh -huh. their, their, their claws aren't retractable like a cat. They're permanent. They're permanent, so they're out. So they're, as they walk up, it's this scratching claw coming up. And then these right here by my heel, mm -hmm. see how close those are together? That's a cub. Mm -hmm. Versus like that. Osito. Porque están muy chiquitos, ¿sí? Sí. This is, this really has a lot of bear activity. And these scratches, those you can see here, were from about last September. The first time I noticed them was in May. There's a bunch of scratches, and as it rains, dirt falls on it, people walk on it, it gets all covered up, and then you see more of them. And then it gets covered up, and you see them again. So there's three sets of tracks that I've seen on this. And you can kind of see right there, they're older ones. They're faded, mm -hmm. and they're covered up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of bear activity in Western North Carolina. Otras fotitos, amor. ¿Tú quieres tomar una? ¿De otro ángulo? Do we continue up from here? Yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll go this way. It'll be a lot easier than going across because those rocks are wet. Yeah, I don't need her falling. Yeah, I don't need to <laughs> fall either. <laughs> I don't need either one of you to fall. Okay, yeah. okay. Yo? Mm -hmm. so in the spring, mm -hmm. the series fill the flowers. Mm -hmm. And the first flowers we have will come up like a lot of sunlight because there's no leaves. Mm -hmm. So they're here for a couple weeks. Uh. And then the tree leaves start to come out and then Next flowers come out, like to have a little sun. They don't want to be, but they like to have a little shade. So they come out, they're here for several weeks and the leaves get bigger and then it's total shade. Then you have another set of flowers to grow. And then this, there, there, and there, and there's some green growth there. Mm -hmm. Those are the first flowers that are starting to come up. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's called a trout lily. But it's, I mean, first part of February, and I already start to see some of this early yeah. spring flowers. Actually, I'll get a picture of that so I can ID it later. Right on.
Now this trail here splits goes that way and this one goes up to Looking Glass Rock. It's about a mile of trail up to it and this is an approach trail for climbers. As you hike this, you get up and you're looking at the rock like oh. You put your hands on it, it's just straight up. Yeah, it's so for climbers. Yeah, this is for climbers. Um, and there's, so there's actually four trails to go to the top. One of them is Looking Glass Trail, the trail we saw where they told you, 2.2 mile hike up, relatively easy. The other three approach the rock like this one does. And you get up to the rock, then you have to climb right. to get to the top. So often when it's um, you know, a little warmer weather, or you see lots of people parked here that are climbers that approach this trail to go up it. And they have everything from um, fairly mellow climbing to stuff that's really, really hard climbing. climbing. <laughs> like the bouldering guys? Yeah. So when you normally have larger groups of people, you would go up this way? It just depends on the group. Because there's some people that, you know, uh, I take a reading on the group. Sure. You know, the first couple hikes walking, if they're, like, you guys are fully accessible, you have no problem, you have no problem getting up that. Other people are like, I wouldn't even, no, I'm like, I don't even put it as an option. We'll come up here and then some uh, some of the people I don't even tell them that you could go underneath it because it's just not even you know you don't I don't want to put something out there that they can't do absolutely they do they're just not going to be hay un perrito para saludarnos Kia that everything's a little Allen wrench. <laughs> here we go, here we go. If you cannot swim, you cannot slide. No exceptions. <laughs> <laughs> Slippery <Now> surface. <laughs> in the in the summer there'll be two, three hundred people here a day going up and down this water park. Slippery surface, but it's a skateboarder. <laughs> What's this right here? Uh, it's just a bathroom. And they, okay. You know, they only keep it unlocked in the summer. Oh, because no one has to pee when it's cold. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Ooh, facts and safety. Sliding Rock's oh, granite face is 60 God. foot in length. Play then stay. Cool. Seems like a much more accessible area too. Yeah. Oh, even have railings. Yeah, so they put a railing in. I don't know what year they did that, but it was a while ago. And then in the summer they have this rubberized mat that they lay down on their side too. You go down there, you wade across, you get on, you walk up, come here, and then when you get on the slide and go down, there's three places, you can, I mean, generally three areas. The closer you are to the opposite side, you go down that, it's sort of easy or mellow. You get in the middle, it's a little bit more harder, and then here it's a little harder too. That's not harder, it's just rough on your body. I see it. Yeah. This little hole here, it's kind of hard, it's just like this in the summer. A lot of water and it doesn't look like it's anything. But it goes down and drops in about a waist deep hole that's like this big. So if you're sliding, you go boom, boom bam. And you gotta come out of it, you go down and, and you hit that one, boom. One. And then it goes down and it drops down again. Down there where the water meets the, the rock, the rock meets the water down there, you see there's those three basically areas of white. The one on the far right, that's the easy. The one in the middle, so the middle one again. But the, the rock just goes down and meets the water. Yeah, I see that. That water down there, it's about eight to ten foot deep. 
So no matter how, no matter what you think, you go in, you're gonna go underwater. And you get in that water again, it's in the 50s. You're going down, you see people, ah! And they hit the water and they go, boom! They come up, ah! and they're gasping. Like, That's why it says, slide, then swim. Yeah. <laughs> and then this, amor. Tienes que cruzar allá, subir aquí, y bajar aquí. So what's the deal with the uh, the lifeguard thing up there? Why is it up there? Uh, it's, it's actually, uh, well, you know, I'll tell you. It's down here. They have a, they keep the, the equipment in there, like the belt and stuff in the winter. Oh, they took the skateboarder off of this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It just talks about the idiocy of Americans. Like, everybody's gonna know that's gonna be slick. Why do you have to put it on the sign? Like, that, you know? Um, yeah. But that's how things are in America. Lifeguards only. Are you sure? Because it's open. Yeah, this is generally closed, so we're gonna check this out. Is it abierto? Vamos. You can see where it comes down here, drop, boom. Oh yeah, you get launched. And right there, you see it comes over. It's a straight drop, the water's going over like that. Está muy profundo ahí. Él dice como 8 o 10 pies. ¿Cuántos metros? Cuatro. Más alta que yo puedo poner mi mano. Como tres metros. I suppose we're going to go around the other side too, huh? And again, the water is really clear here. It's really beautiful. Viste como, como claridad tiene la agua? Estás tomando fotos. Podemos tomar fotos allá también. Ya la hizo. La hizo. ¿Es un agua de filtro? Check the temperature. That was a life shot. I thought so too. Been down so deep. Let's go for a swim there. Hell yeah. Van a nadar. Les van a nadar. Ella tiene un termómetro. Está checando la temperatura. Tomaste tus fotos. She's trying to figure out how someone's going to go swimming in this. Well, I guess we go around the other side, yeah? Yeah, we can walk over. Vamos a cruzar allá, amor. Quieres tu fotito aquí también, ¿no? Está como 5 grados. Sí. Mira, qué bonito. Sí. Él dice que él va a meter, pero ella va a nadar. 
él solo va a meter y, y disfrutar, pero ella va a nadar, de veras. This clear water is a foreign concept, man. Yeah. Oh, you probably put that GoPro in the water. Yeah. Check it out. See, there's, I'm sure there's fish in here. I didn't bring the waterproof case. I think this one's supposed to be somewhat waterproof, but uh, I'm not risking it. Yeah. broke off late summer and he used to hang a little lower but as he goes up that he turns his boat sideways puts his hand on it and then rolls underneath it and keeps on going and so it's about that far above the water level right that's a bro moment right there oh yeah do not move the rocks yeah i just look at the side too <laughs> like all right i won't yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Cuida. Mucho cuida, amor. Right. Usa tus manos. So 
You go across these rocks, they're pretty solid. If you slip off, just stand in the water. Don't worry about switching your legs. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Me amor, ve. Él está diciendo que puedes ir. Corre. Ya tienes. Están bonitas, ¿no? No, no, lo que quieres tomar, amor. This is a, this looks like a bigger one of the one you just handed over to her. Yeah. That looks interesting. It's like a copperish color. Oh, check out the one she found. Oh, wow. Look at that. Ooh. Very That's rare. cool. Yeah. It's polka dots. Is <laughs> that fancy or more? Si. That's an interesting little spot right there. Yeah. When the water level is high enough, it's turn all those rocks. Right, I was gonna say it's the only there. way the only way you can get rocks there. And it's archaeological. <laughs> <laughs> 